Are you a person that is very interested in recording vocals, but you got one problem, you can't sing at all? Well, I have a solution for you. Check this out. I was introduced to this amazing tool called A Studio. A Studio generates AI vocals through MIDI and lyrics. And you might think that, uh, I'm not sure about that, but let me show you the power of this tool. I recorded a piano, just simple piano part. You can say it's a new song that I'm working on. It's just something I came up with and I actually recorded it right in Cakewalk by Bandlab, which is my main doll for this channel. And I just took it and I brought it into this beautiful software here. Now, first of all, absorb it. Look at it real quick, see what it looks like because the power that this thing has is gonna change your life and your recordings. Let's get into it. So here's my piano part. I'm gonna let you hear a little bit of that. Okay, sounds beautiful, right? Very simple and I'm excited about it. But this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to test this thing out to see how well it works. There are a few options of what you can do on here. Let's go ahead and transfer over so you can see exactly what I mean. You will see on the left side that there are pre-made voices. Now you can actually make your own voice or you can find some voices that are public that you can actually browse and discover and use inside here. Let me show you how this works. The first thing that we need to do is assign a singer. Now, right now I'm gonna use a lira. So I'm putting a lira up here to what's called the singer track and singer track, think of it like the MIDI track basically. And you can input the notes right here. It's just like your typical piano roll, like you would do in any doll, right? But there's so many features on here. You have breath, you can add air, you can add like falsetto, you can do tension, you can add more energy, you can change the format of the vocals. You can add modulation, you can add pitch, you can change the pitch, you can add vibrato, you can, I mean, it's just so many crazy things that you can do on here. So, but I just want you to hear exactly what I have so far. All right, this song is called, Please Forgive Me. You look at the words I have here, never thought that I could feel this way. Listen to how this sounds, you all. This is not me singing, of course. This is not a hired singer that I hired. This is true AI. I'm gonna play the piano part and you'll listen to it. Never thought that I could ever feel this way. Did you hear that? Did you hear the breath? Now I haven't even added anything yet. I'm just like still working with this thing. I just typed the lyrics in. Uh, it's cool because you can highlight everything and you can just type it right here and it'll automatically determine based off of syllables how it should be spread out. Then if you want a note to hold, you can drag out a note. Like if I need this to be shorter, I can drag it in or I can drag it out. I can also add vibrato to it. Now, naturally, some of the notes added vibrato automatically when I put them in because it just kind of figures how a singer would normally sing it. But if I wanted to change the vibrato, like on this one note. But I could ever feel this way. So I have way, which is over here. All right, let's see, feel this way right here. All right, now, if I wanted to add more vibrato to it, I can choose a vibrato tool. I can go here and I can change this vibrato, right? I can make it more wavier, so where it, it vibrates automatically. Way. Did you hear that? Look, that is crazy. Control Z, because I kinda want it to be straight. Like whenever you sing it as a, you know, you wanna make sure that the vibrato is at the tail end of it. Way. Okay, and then ever so slightly some vibrato. I love that. Now, you're like, okay, cool. You're not convinced yet. Well, check this out. Let's change the singers. Maybe I don't want her. Maybe I want someone else. Let's look at Emma. Let's see what Emma sounds like. Gonna drag Emma up here to the singer track. And let's go from there. Let's go from the beginning. Let's listen again. Never thought that I could ever feel this way. Waking up alone, the nights are golden gray. I can turn it up. 
Now, here's another part that's very interesting. Over here, Emma, there's called a voice mix. And I can adjust the timbre. I can adjust the style of it. Let's say I want to add another singer and combine them. I can click the plus sign right here. And then I can add in a Lyra. All right. And then I can blend the two. Like maybe I want more timbre from her. So let's hear what that sounds like. Okay, still processing. Never thought that I could ever feel this way. Mm. Waking up alone, the nights are golden gray. You hear that vibrato at the end, you all? Do you see how dope this is? Like you can actually take this and record a demo, like easy, easy record a demo. You know, especially for me, I'm a male vocalist and I, I have a high voice and I can get high, but I like to just literally hear a female sing. This is amazing because imagine if you didn't have the money to pay for a singer. You could get into this studio and you can actually set up everything right here. Like you can play around with the vocal and create it. Now I'm gonna show you the next way to go about using this. But before I get into that, if this has been helpful so far, definitely smash the like button. It does help this channel out a lot. It will help me grow even more. And if you want to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. All right, I mentioned that you can also do some other cool things on here. So like for instance, what if you want to set the key of whatever you're working in? You can actually change the key right here. You'll see where it says scale on and you can actually click on it to choose what key. So it says Escala, E major. I have it set on E major right now. So I can go to E major, I can do minor. I can do major pentatonic, harmonic, minor. A lot of minor. Ooh, and it does the modes too. So that's actually pretty cool. And what this does, it just, when it's on, it lights up the different pitches that you should select. Now, what I wish it did, maybe this is something they can work on. And maybe there is an option. I just don't know how to do it. But I wish it would just exit out of any of the other notes. Like, for instance, if I don't want to click on D natural, because D natural is not in the key of E major then I feel like it should be grayed out where I can't even click on it, but I still can add those notes. But it's okay because when you work with melodies, you might want to use accidentals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never thought that, I, never thought. Okay, so now I have a setup. I'm gonna record some audio. And never thought that I could feel. And I'm gonna to try to really exaggerate this. Let's do it. Yeah. Never thought that I could ever feel this way Waking up alone, the nights are cold and gray All right, we're gonna stop it right there. All right, then we're gonna take it, and then now here you're gonna see it says vocal to MIDI lyrics, all right? And so we're gonna say vocal to MIDI lyrics gonna convert and then we're gonna say use the pitch line from the original vocal very important to click that because otherwise it might make its own pitches you know so I'm like you want to stay as close to you as possible even if you're slightly out of tune all right let's listen to it I don't know what happened at the end, but it was cool. But it didn't sound like I was, uh, I was talking, but it sounded like I, I got auto tune on me. So once you finish here, then what should you do after that? You can go ahead and export it if you want to. And rendered master, whole project. You can do it in stereo, All right, stereo channels. You can do a wave 44.1, 44.8. Um, and then you can export that and then bring it back into your main DAW if you wanna do some more editing with it. You can also do vocal doubles. So let me show you how you do this. And now that it's highlighted, I can go to create vocal doubles, uh, similar with original clip, take effect on user pitch, take effect on voice mix, and then I can say create. 
All right. And what it did was it created a double like left. I think you can pan it left and right. Yeah, this is pan left. This is pan right. Let's hear what that sounds like. Never thought that I could ever feel this way. Waking up along the nights of cold and gray. Oh, that's dope. That just makes it sound so fat. And then you can imagine like taking this a step further and putting effects on it. Oh, this is going to be amazing. If you like this so far, let me know in the comments, would you use this? Uh, it's a tool. So I don't, you know, of course, I would prefer to sing things myself. But if you're a person, like I said, that you have trouble with singing or you just want to get the melody out so you can get it to another singer, this will be the perfect way to do it. You can take this, export it, bring it right into your DAW and work with it.